Hi everyone. Well, last week we made these. This week we're going to make these. Quite a different look. So please join us. Let's get started. So I've cut out some large tags from a cereal box. Um, I want them to be in really big statement type tags for my sewing journal. Um, so I'm going to have to cover both sides because this is a bit light as well. So I'm going to cover one side, the picture side, with um, this is just a brown paper bag. So I'll stick that on there and then cut round it. And on the light side, I'm going to use my lining paper, the wallpaper lining paper, and stick that on that side so that can be sort of like a journaling side. So I'm going to use a glue stick and I'll do that, cut them out and come back. Okay, so those are all nicely glued down. I've inked the edges. A little bit of bubbling, but um, that'll be covered up actually. I found some images um, or strips of paper that I want to use. So one part just um, writing and another picture just to just to have an opposite there. So I'm going to stick those on there and then again this on this tag I found a, some knitting um, images in my Reader's Digest book. So I'm going to stick those on there. I've inked the edges up. And then I was looking through the um, book I showed you before, um, the Reader's Digest Life in Victorian Age, and um, there's English and American images in there which is quite nice and I found a haberdashery hall painting from New York and so I've cut that in half I think it was that way and I'm going to have that on there so I'll stick those down I've also found, cut out a word, haberdashery, and a backing to go on there. So I'm going to stick those down and then stick that on the, on the tag. So I'll go away and do some gluing, and then I'll come back. So I've added those bits and stuck the word on. I've put this piece of fabric through the eyelet. It's just a little bit of cheesecloth but it's got quite a nice shimmer on it. It was just a, um, a re remnant or a sample. And I've added a little cotton reel to that um, as it's haberdashery. So I've just got to finish this one off. I've marked more or less where the eyelet's going. Getting a bit better at putting these in now. Oh, I shouldn't have said that really. Oh, that's gone all right. So I've got to cut a piece of this off. Gorgeous shimmer, sort of a gold shimmer. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up. I want to put the light on, really. So, I hope 
cut through there. So I've got to wind some thread around there. I might put a lighter one on than that and add that. The other thing I'm going to do on here is just put some script on. Just to give it a little bit more. Definition. Just randomly this gives rather a nice effect and some journaling space. Right, I'll just finish off the thread and then I'll come back. Right, well I think they're finished. Although you can never say that, can you, with junk journaling? They look um, quite a statement. I think they'll be really nice in the sewing journal. And I wanted them to be a complete contrast from the ones we did last week. And I think, as you can see, they're uh, quite opposite, really, with the colours and things. So, with the backgrounds, at least. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please press the subscribe button and come back and see us next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye for now.